right, we're checking out the only game where the thing that slides down water slides the easiest is my own human misery, it's GTA. We wanted to put cars in GTA up against water slides, and so Alex has created a brand new challenge. Because it was only a matter of time before this nightmare happened, Alex has put together a series of tests where I'm going to have to pilot vehicles through water slides. Because water slides are not meant to have cars ride on them and instead are just meant to increase insurance claims, I'm gonna have to find a way to get to the end of this before I lose my mind. As always, Alex has given us all these different cars that are clearly not meant to drive on a water slide, but only one can make it to the end. Let's do this. I am so glad that this challenge finally came my way. My whole life I've thought to myself, what will I ever do if I'm in my vehicle and a wild water slide suddenly jumps out in front of it? Which car gets yeeted the furthest by a water slide? A question I'm sure all of us have asked ourselves while driving to Starbucks. Now, yes, I did decide to choose the stupidest vehicle first. <laughs> <laughs> was it like a like a football field that I have to eat my car across from the water slide? I don't even know if I can get this thing down there. If I can get what is what is like points or distance? If I can get forty points, I'm gonna go ahead and consider that a win. I can, oh my god! <laughs> no, I have a hard enough time driving this thing normally. You want me to? Oh. Well, I almost got a chassis sliding down the water slide. It kind of is. I came down here to take a look at some of the other challenges that I'm gonna have to do. Uh, it makes me cry. Listen, I'm someone where if something doesn't work the right way, you just turn it around and try it that way, okay? We're exhausting all possible options here. I'm not giving up on the brute. Maybe I should give up on the brute. I'm just kidding. I told you I'm not giving up on the brute. Oh my God. Oh, oh, woo. Okay, yeah, you know what? Sure, let's just grind it on two wheels. Why not? This is freakishly working. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that is unbelievably terrible. <laughs> let's try a different car. For the first time, I think I found the ER. Great, thanks, Alex. I think I found the quad's perfect challenge because this is the one vehicle that can just drive down the slide. Oh, yeah. It is! <laughs> Do I have to get, oh, I assume I have to get past the 69. Of course it is. Well, it flies really good. I just don't know if it can get far enough. Oh, you can see from the uh, gray jam spot exactly how far I got. That's how we'll score the vehicles. Okay, I'm not really sure how I can get extra air or like aerodynamics or something. I can try pulling back. Well, that worked pretty good. I got an extra 10 yards on that. Don't mind me, everyone. Just using my blood for modern art. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, <laughs> how about that? I, uh, I'm pretty impressed. I didn't really think I could make it that far. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta put on a new helmet for that one. Hey, right on the line! <laughs> Which car can climb faster up a water slide? Don't know. I'm not sure there was ever a period in my life where I had to guess. Oh, whoa, okay. I guess it's 20 seconds. Oh, okay, so this is a re like a restarter. It kind of like starts and goes and you get 20 seconds to go up to the top. So, uh, I mean, I can climb it. Hadn't really thought about it, but the ATV definitely climbs it okay. Now, as long as, you know, there's not a random, oh, I forgot about, okay, that is a, this is a fairly strong curve you've got there. The only thing that I'm concerned about is whether or not Alex programmed in, you know, like children flying down the water slide to get in my way and kill me, that too. Waiting on you, man. Come on, there we go, okay. And, <laughs> I hate myself right now, you have no idea how much. Okay, let's try that with a little less failure. Big go! Yeah, okay. Now, when we get to the top here, I gotta watch out because it suddenly turns to the right and because it's a water slide, you know, <laughs> you don't get, there's not a lot of room for air, okay? You either, oh, wow, this thing, you can, uh, you can wall ride a water slide really good. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Ow! I wasn't really checking, but I'm, I'm assuming I did not make it in 20 seconds. I will say, there has to be something that climbs a water slide a lot faster than that. Bullied. Poor Sherp. Now, when I said there's probably something that climbs faster, it probably is not this. 
because I don't even think that we're going to get past the, eh, maybe the 40? Maybe we can make it to the 40. Oh, we're making it to the 45. Right at the 45. Anxiety Simulator 2020. Oh my God, what is going on here? Ooh. Uh, huh. <laughs> Can't believe I landed it on here. Okay, I'm gonna, oh my God. I'm gonna give this one last try. If I can keep it. Oh, here we go, this is perfect. This is perfect. Oh yeah. That's a perfect jump with this thing. And since 50 is, well, like 47 is about the best we can do. We need a different car. Goodbye, sweet prince. Oh, I didn't. Huh, it takes me a really long time to, oh, to get out the driver's side. So instead of jumping and letting it tumble to its death, I too am tumbling to my death alongside of the vehicle. This is quite embarrassing. Luckily, the shrub blocked the rest of my fall. Okay, how about if we have a convertible? See, this, this, tr this Jeep right here, like the old Willy Jeep, it doesn't have a topper. Okay, maybe that means something. Maybe that means absolutely nothing. Why do I feel... Like I'm going to be eating the steering wheel. Yeah, if you can't make it through this, we're not going any further with it. The answer is to always just throw money at the problem. That's the idea behind this limo. Now it does have some speed. So it is totally possible that it can get to 69. Oh, it's almost there. <laughs> Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> I love how the ejection out the driver's side just makes no sense. Timber. <laughs> All right, let's give this one more try. I, I could have sworn I could make it. Maybe it'll, come on, baby, come on, come on, no. Rocket powered, money coated hot dog. Ah, uh, it's almost like if I twirl extra, I can get a few more feet. All right, last try. That, wow, oh my God. I'm gonna land on my feet. Told you, after a nice breakfast of frosted glass, I thought I would pick the compact car. The cool part is that the entire car can fit. Oh yeah, I forgot that I left this here because I was busy flying through the windshield. Everyone loves the power of grenades. Oh God. Ooh. I don't actually know if grenades can get this thing out of the way. I'm grabbing another vehicle real quick because uh, tires. I need something with more power to get the other car out from in front of the water slide or I can't continue. Go away. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Okay, I think I can get it. We're gonna go up. We're gonna, then we're gonna, you know, rubber band this down and that should get rid of it. Thank you. That'd be amazing if now this car gets stuck on the front. <laughs> Don't worry, I think I can wiggle this thing out. Well, I say I can, oh God. Okay, I was able to get out, so that's good. Now it's just a matter of, can I make it a 69? The answer's yeah! Nice. See, the more tires you have, the faster you can slide down the water slide, obviously. All right, 20 seconds. How quick is it? Uh, feels a little quicker than the ATV. Yeah, it's definitely faster than the ATV. The question is, can it hug these walls fast enough to get up with, oh my God, oh God. Can it hug the walls good enough to get up within 20 seconds so I don't get backhanded by the, well, the windmill's there. Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> I thought I could land back on the water slide. All right. This run's doing pretty good. Getting some, uh, oh, God. Getting some water slide surfing in. No big deal. Oh, the front of the car keeps trying to jump off of the water slide and send me to my death. Oh, I got it. Which car can descend down a water slide faster? I don't know if the 20 seconds was for the windmill. Or if the teleporter goes away. I'm guessing the windmill's always there and the teleporter just like goes away or something. Oh my God. Whoa! Oh, this is, this is, oh my God, no, no! Oh, I'm gonna land on this, oh, did that, did that windmill just teleport? Like to the side? So I had to do this again and yes, the windmill is always there. So I'm guessing what happens is the teleporter goes away after 20 seconds if you can't get it. But now it's the descent. And the problem is, is that you can't, like, you can't slow down. You're basically just, a, oh my God, you're basically just along for the ride. And the backside of the car is just grinding the whole way. Ah! Not my hood, I love that hood. Not that door, I love that door. Everything's under control. Everything is much less under control now. Oh God, oh. Huh, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I thought I would, 
roll, well, never mind. I was gonna say I thought I would roll down this hill much longer, and I'm just rolling down the hill much slower. And my car fell right into the hole in the background. That has got to be worth some points. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. Look at that right there. Keep that nose down. Just squeeze it right onto the left side. All right, now we're going to the right. Spin, big spin around to the left. And then hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Come on, go, 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 go. No, I was right there. Okay, so this one has the windmill and the windmill teleports in if you're over 20 seconds. We didn't give the compact car its fair share of tries. So I thought I would, wow, this seems very aerodynamic. So I thought I would give it a shot. And I'm not gonna lie, it feels like it gets a lot of distance once it gets launched in the air. So right away, oh, we're clearing it. I can already tell you we're gonna clear. I might go past the 69, almost. So this is one of the best water slide jumping cars that I have used. Ah, the scent of burning rubber in the morning. I love the way it assaults my, my sinuses. Oh, wow. Okay, I had no idea. This thing cannot climb a water slide at all. Not even a little bit. All right, I wanted to give this another try and it's, it's impossible. It won't climb it. Now this pink vehicle. If I had to put my money on a car to win this, it would probably be this because this has absurd speed. It's got the spoiler. It's got the turbos. It went past the 69. I may even call that 79. I'm surprised Alex didn't put the numbers 69 on this vehicle. Oh, the other car is still just chilling out. Look at it. Can you see it <laughs> on the top of the 20? So I'm going to have a problem. I'm going to have to like jump over the first car, which you can totally do. Never mind. This isn't even slightly problematic. This car is amazing. Ooh, it kind of, it kind of, I don't know what to call this, like turtles itself. Get stuck on the top over there. Can I launch myself back to the beginning and restart this? Yep. Okay. Stay in the middle and you can keep a lot of your speed. The problem is if I try and, God, if I try and wall ride too hard with this thing, sometimes the back end kicks out and then it flips onto the roof. Oh my God. I think that was the first time that we did that correctly. So you are supposed to beat the windmill. I just kind of like cheated my way past the windmill and somehow managed to get there before it backhanded me down the challenge. This thing, this feels, okay. Gotta slow down before that curb and then just ride it all the way down. This feels fantastic. I mean, it's fantastic as, you know, riding on a, on a water slide with a car can feel. We beat that by like three seconds. That's incredible. Oh yeah. If uh, if if there's like ever a Kevin Costner, Water World issue going on in the planet and we're being assaulted by water slides, always pick this vehicle. Which can ramp off a water slide the highest? Let's find out. I'm assuming you have to jump over that wall and then something happens. It's time to water slide the right way. Ah, oh, it gets to about 40. Huh. I will say getting to this point is remarkably easy with this car. It is, it is just a one shot. So full speed, as fast as possible, totally went onto the roof, probably lost all of my speed, gonna end up at 20. Somehow I have to find a way to do this and keep, there we go. Yes, that was probably the best launch I could get. And we got it. <laughs> Yes! Still getting there with the power metal. I'm feeling good. I, this is, this choice was the way. Which car can push a boat up a water slide? Oh yeah, for all those times when I was driving up a water slide in my vehicle and suddenly I was, I encountered a boating motorist who was stuck. Uh, you know, you as, as a good Samaritan, you have to push him up the water slide because that's where boats boat. I can only imagine a water slide company or like a water park where, you know, like how salmon swim upstream or whatever when they're spawning. Just like a bunch of salmon flying down the water slide with the water, people fishing out of their boat, trying to go up the water slide. This entire challenge is an amalgamation of absolute stupidity. I can't even cheat this because it... There's slowdown sticks, so I can't jump over it. Uh, I got bad news. So, um, 
this car cannot push a boat up a water slide. I know, I know. There's no way that this thing could push a car up a water slide either. I just want to see how far it jumps. Uh, the answer is not far enough. The time has come to YOLO DOLO with the YouTube mobile. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. A little bouncy because of the independent suspension. Oh, big yeet. I'm going to fall short. I hate to say it. I don't know if this thing is going to get... No, once it gets in the air, it goes pretty far. I don't think that this thing's going to get past 69. Come on. That was probably my best jump. If that can't make it, it's not gonna get there. All of the superchargers. Ah, raw. Just how I like my salmonella. What kind of distance can a car like this get? This is like a missile. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting that. This doesn't have any traction though. How is it going to be able to climb a water slide when it has no traction? All right, we're just gonna try and muscle this and hope that it works. Here we go. All of the horsepower. All of the horsepower. Uh, hey. This is, yep, this is exactly what I thought would happen. Uh, time for the half and half car. Half sanity and half stupid. Kind of like me. Minus the sanity part. Wow, that was the worst jump I could have had. Uh, and I'm still gonna get about 55. Okay, this jump is slightly better. The problem is it's so wide that you only get like one tire on there. Made it though. How am I gonna climb with this thing? Let's see how it does it. Uh, it climbs better than the other car. Wow, it climbs pretty good. Once you get going, oh my God. <laughs> Once you get going, I am very impressed with how much traction this thing can keep on a water slide. You know, being that it's driving basically sideways the whole time. I think this could possibly make it. Pretty good run. I don't think we're going to beat it, but I might be able to get lucky and park this thing in. No. When I had a smaller vehicle, I had a chance. Now the vehicle's a lot longer and a lot wider. You have to win this, you know, the right way. Or do you? What car can descend the fastest? Now we're gonna see how this thing does. The cool part is, this is hard to describe, it feels like it has a lot of traction when it's swinging around. Like right now, at this moment, I feel like I am completely under control, which is funny because it's, you know, it's not driving at all. Uh, to get up a little bit of speed if I wanna possibly beat this before the windmill ends up teleporting in the middle. Nope, we're, 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 it's real bad. Oh yeah, come on. You can do it. That's that nice and patient. Nice and patient. There we go. You know what, screw patience. I don't got to, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You didn't say how I had to descend it. <laughs> All right, this car lives to see another day. But now, oh my God, <laughs> no, no, I was gonna say, gonna get to the top. Going for a totally straight run. Want to keep all four tires on the water slide and easy jump. Now, can it push a boat? Uh, probably. Got plenty, oh, it can certainly ride the boat. Do not, do not climb the boat. You have to push the boat, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It gets about halfway, and then it loses all of its forward momentum. All right, we're going to rock this backward. Rock it forward. Come on, baby. Come on. Still only gets about halfway. That's a problem. I really didn't expect that this car would die out right here. I need something thin, but that has a little bit of back end to it. So we're going to try this. Bulky, they say. The wide back end. I like it. First. How well does it jump the challenge? Well, it, oh my God. Well, it definitely got the brand new record for flips. Hey, there goes the hood. There goes the door. Let's see if we can lose all the doors. Yay. I didn't lose that last door. Okay, let's try and line this up. Jeez. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna need patience for this one because it, man, it loves to go flying off the right or the left. That's perfect. Oh my God. 
super easy. Almost got to that. You know what? Hold on. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go up the next challenge. I don't even care at this point. Oh, God. Oh, wow. It regained its traction while it was sliding downward from the door. Oh, whoa. From the challenge. I need to see if I can land this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. Uh, right under the windmill. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, my God. Okay. Getting to the climb, not bad at all. I just have to do the climb in a controlled manner. Forward, gas, keep the car in the middle, then kind of move it over to the left a little bit, ride the corner, ride the lightning. The lightning hurts. The lightning is trying to insert itself into body parts that it doesn't belong into, but it still does it really fast. Wow. Water slide descent. How well does it stay in Ow! How well does it stay inside of a water slide? I mean, pretty good. It stayed inside so well that I lost all of my back glass. Hey, okay. well, this isn't good. This is highly natural. Okay, now it's more natural. I'm going down this backwards. You know what? Sure. Let's give this a shot. How hard can it be? Just driving a car down a water slide backwards. Now I'm driving a car in the air backwards. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this car really struggles with the descent. Uh, because it's it's almost too fast, I hate to say it. I have to slow down, which annoys me. <laughs> Cause if I don't slow down, it will just ping ball, it will just ping ball right off the sides. Hold on. This is actually a really good run. Come on. Come on. No! No! What I was trying to say is it'll pinball off the sides and then I'll die. Okay. The, the start here was real fast. So this is looking really good. I think I've got a little bit of time to take this curly Q, curly fry, Hardy's delicious French fry part of the, oh, come on, part of the water slide. Yes! Just in the nick of time. Less than a second left. Now this one we know how to beat. Mainly just line it up. Line it up, make sure all four tires are on there. Big jump, forward lean, and perfect. First try. Now, none of the vehicles have managed to push a boat up a water slide yet. Will Bulky be the first? Let's find out. Huh? Uh, so it gets kind of it gets kind of lodged the same place the last car did, like halfway up. It definitely, well, it starts to climb it. Okay, I have to show you something. I had to redo my entire run because this can push this up the water slide, but you can't have any damage to the front of the car. So I basically had to do this without damaging, I hate myself right now, without damaging the car and it can push the boat off. I shouldn't even say damaging the car. It's not about damaging the car. It's about not losing your front bumper. As long as the front bumper stays in one piece, look at this, no problem. Now I just have to make sure that I slow down so I'm not the one that goes flying off of the water slide and then we can make the jump easy. Which car can do a triple water, water slide spiral? I wanted to do a water slide turtle, but that was just too dumb. Well, Alex, I don't know if I'm happy to see this. <laughs> oh, this is just, okay, this is ugly. Oh, wow. Oh, it is a heavy pulling spiral too. What was that? What happened? I love that my life gave up partway through that spiral. I think what happened is he's got water spouts all over the place. And I'm pretty sure I got beaten across the mouth with a water spout. Okay. Concentration. Preparation. Frustration! Hey. What are you doing? What do you want? You want money? You want some beer? What in the world just happened there? Did you suffer from radioactive- oh, Whoa! Why? What did- Did that? Did that mountain lion just steal my car? I'm pretty sure that mountain lion just stole my car. Hey, get out of the car. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be the death of me. I've been at this for a little while. The idea is stay inside, inside to outside. Look, 
then, okay, that was, oh my God. All right, I screwed up at the end. I didn't follow my own instructions. Use the force, Gray. Yeah, the force has been abusing me for years, okay? I'd rather not use the force. I'd rather just, oh my God, it's, ah. Oh, I'd rather just get lucky. Okay, we're gonna try it from the inside to the outside. Inside, outside, yes, yes! Finally, oh my God, that means that we have a winner! Well, I rode the water slides and found out the water tasted a lot like my tears. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.